So what's up, mi gente? That's right, it's the guy Scott from the Basco Scenario, giving you my first little mini review on the Bad Batch trailer that just dropped a couple of days ago. Uh, this show has me psyched more than anything that's out there right now. Uh, even the current Falcon Winter Soldier, I have to say. I know last episode was a little bit disappointed on that, but we'll th discuss that on Sunday at on on Danny uh, Comic uh, Comic Chats channel for the round table for that one but like i was saying this has me excited uh this, the trailer is fire if you haven't seen it please do um and here we go i was excited for reasons right the bad batch they're a group of clone troopers uh they're known as the force 99 uh we saw them in the last season of uh the clone wars uh where they you know they went and they and they saved echo right and in and, and that whole mini series there but these guys are super soldiers kind of better than the average uh, clone troopers or commando troopers even and you see in the preview that uh the grand Alma moff tarkin he he tests them and they pretty much you can tell that they they win whatever test is there but they're subordinate they don't listen and you also see in the preview that they pretty much survive order 66 and the clone war and the and grandma uh tarkin he orders the the troopers to hunt them down at any cost and that brings us to that they go there's a scene there they're in camino yeah there's a little prick uh scene in camino where you see this little girl right here and questions to see like why is she on camino right because the last little kid you saw walking around camino that we know of was boba right so is she a clone is she have some kind of special skills is she force sensitive well i'm not going to go into the whole speculations but i'm curious to see who you know who she is because we know that through the preview that she actually goes off with the clones uh well the clones with force 99 right with the bad batch but what i'm excited is this you get to see fennec and last time we saw fennec was on the mandalorian so this ties in with the characters of the Mandalorian. That brings up my curiosity full blast. And not only that, Saul Guerrero, right? We saw them from uh, that movie that everybody loves, you know, Rogue One. So how this all ties in together, they're like connecting all these movies, man. And it, you know, I like those connections. So yeah, man, check out the trailer if you haven't already. I'm digging this series, and man, that's my uh, three-minute little video on how I feel about it. So yeah, definite fire. So check out that trailer.